Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Genjoy Plans. Today I am using this gorgeous Tahiti kit from Caress Press, which I believe was a mystery, and I honestly can't remember which month, um, from her last year. And Emma of Emma K Plans so generously sent me this um, because she heard me talking about it and she got sent two or something like that. Um, this was so long ago, but anyway, so she sent me the like matte paper version and I totally don't mind. And yeah, so Emma, if you're watching this, thank you. Um, this kit is so stinking cute and I feel like I was, this was the kit that last year, you know, there's like always one kit that is like the kit that got away from you. You wish you could have used it, whether like you didn't have room in your lineup or like you just didn't get your hands on it. And last summer it was this kit for me. So, um, yeah, I was super pumped to be able to use it this year. The colors are just so calming. Um, and I got to throw in some extenders. You can see that I'm doing here for the weekend because it is our last weekend at the lake um and I want to be able to use like extra summer stickers like I feel like I have so many fun summer stickers so I'm using extenders because I yeah want to use as many stickers as possible <laughs> and I have more boxes because this is a bigger kit size so I have the space also I was so impressed with my extender action this week because they actually laid down so flat which is like the first time ever I feel like I just can never get them to lay flat um or like lay smooth. I feel like they end up kind of being a little chunky because of my folding or something like that. So I was impressed this week. And then I put the pen over to try to like press it down and um, it worked. I did it for like, I think I ended up putting my tweezers on it overnight and came back the next day and it was like super flat. So um, I'm sure all of you know that, but I'm not an extender expert, so I'm just feeling around. Also, I am really trying to get used to these inserts. I am used to a spiral planner, so it is just like a block sitting in front of me, and it doesn't really move too much. But these two pages, it is so nice that they move around, but I feel like it's like a slip and slide. Like, I am just all over the place with them and I feel like I'm in and out of frame. So if you film using inserts, like what do you do to make sure your inserts are in the right place? Like, do you put a little washi tape or like something on your desk to mark? Please, please share any tips, hacks, whatever. Because like I said, it feels like a slip and slide. So I'm so sorry that they're like all over the place. Um, but I am really liking the flexibility of being able to take out the inserts and just like the flat surface because it, that was getting like really annoying when you're at the end of your spiral planner and it's just very chunky and the pages are kind of starting to round. So yes, loving that. Um, like I said, this week we were at home for most of the week and then we went to the lake for the weekend. But I feel like, um, oh, and then I color blocked, but I changed the colors. So I'm not using the date covers. I am just going to use the deco. And that's what's nice about having a dated planner is that I can do that. And I see a lot of people do that. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try and Crest Press's deco. There's plenty of it and it's kind of bigger. So I feel like it worked really well and I'm happy with how it turned out. Um, but I feel like I've talked a lot in my voiceover, so this week I'm going to do a summer this or that question. Um, but I think I kind of went over, oh, I think I, I completely forgot to talk about foil. So kit, we went over that, um, and then for foil, I am using hollow foil, and the underlays are from Plan With Me stickers, which you can always use my code, gen15, it's always down below. And I'm using the like arches pattern and you'll see they look so good. I'm so obsessed. Um, and then what is the other? Oh, my washi overlays are from Planner Choco. They're from last year. Planner Choco? Anyways, um, they are from last year. I had picked it up um, when they were like on sale and I was already ordering some other things. And I was like, oh, hollow is... 
like my favorite summer foil color. I, this will definitely come in handy. It's just a general kind of beach theme. And then, of course, this is the year. This is why I don't buy foil in advance because this is the year that I had. I looked at my lineup and I'm like, I have no hollow foil spreads, like literally none. So I went back through and I was like, you know what? This one, it could definitely be it could be hollow. It's something different. I think it came with matte bronze and um, maybe blue hollow or some sort of blue. And people's spreads look gorgeous with those two foil colors. And I know a lot of people just use gold, which was what I was originally going to do. But I branched out and did hollow and I really do like how it turned out. So um, it felt good to like use foil in your collection and just to be different. It, I feel like I just had to have at least one spread with hollow, which fast forward, you'll see a spread in a couple weeks. One of the glam planner mysteries ended up like using hollow, but I didn't know that at the time because you didn't, you can't plan for mysteries, right? But here you can see it in action. I just like the little shells and I felt like that would be cute on the like sand washy. Um, but yeah, so, and then I had little extra deco pieces to fill in up at the top, which I always appreciate and love as well. Okay, let's get on to the summer this or that. The first question is sunburn or bug bite? Sunburn for sure. I can't stand bug bites. I never got bug bites until I was married. Um, there was something about, I don't, I have no idea, but I had literally never gotten a bug bite until I got married. So in the past five years, I've gotten them and they are honestly the worst things ever. So I'd rather get a sunburn and deal with that and then get a little bit of a tan from it <laughs> than deal with the itchiness uh, and like the uncomfortable feeling of a bug bite, which some people would argue sunburns are uncomfortable, but I'd rather deal with that. Okay. The next question is water balloon fight or slip and slide. Honestly, neither. They sound, in theory, really fun, but now as an adult, I'm like, both of those sound terrible. Water balloon flight, fight, probably, I guess, but yeah, not my first choice. Fishing or fireworks? Fireworks, because I've never gone fishing before, so that would be comical. Um, camping or road trip? Uh, road trip. I love being in the car. I'm a passenger princess, but I do love, and I love driving too, but that would be my first choice. The next one is s'mores or snow cones. Definitely snow cones. I am just not a s'mores person. I'm not a marshmallow girl. They kind of gross me out. So yeah, and yeah, snow cones for sure. Um, although I haven't had a snow cone in forever, but now that's kind of starting to sound really good. Okay. Next is beach or pool day. Um, I like the scenery of the beach. However, I don't like sand in like getting in my swimsuit and in my stuff. So the views of the beach, but, um, pool, if I'm like going to swim, it would be the pool if that makes sense. But pools honestly just make me think of just like kids and I'm with kids all the time, which is great, but sometimes you need a break, you know? <laughs> it sounds so terrible. I'm such a grumpy adult. Um, I'm a teacher on summer break. That's what it is. Okay. The next one is lake or miniature golf, not miniature golf. I'm very confused. Um, Let's just change that to lake or river, and I'm going to go lake. I am a lake girl through and through, through and through, forever and ever. Um, next one is iced tea or lemonade. Lemonade, I'm not like a tea person, but my family's obsessed with iced tea. Like they make a pitcher for dinner every night when we are at the lake. It is like comical. Like, yeah, it's, it's a thing. Um, barbecue or pool party. Barbecue. Um, sunrise or sunset, sunset, I cannot get up early enough for sunrise. So that is kind of the <laughs> quick this or that. Let me know your answers to any of those down below. Um, before I forget some of these quotes, I have a little bit of a combo. Um, the hello summer on the sidebar and the one on Wednesday, I forget what it says because right now my hand's covering it up. 
Live in the Moment. Those are both from Plan With Me stickers. One of them is from a sampler, or like a freebie. And then in one of the grab bags that I got, I got just a bunch of like fun, cute, hollow foil quotes <laughs> I think when she like first opened so I just liked that they were not too overbearing but um, they're cute and then I also forgot that I had these like summer quotes from Plana Hannah so that's what I put over the box on Saturday and I honestly don't even know what it says but it looked cute and I'm happy with it. <laughs> and then these little sandcastle stickers are also from Plan With Me stickers. They are from her monthly doodle drop, which I feel like I've talked about it a lot recently because I feel like it's really underrated. I just, yeah, these doodle, this is a doodle subscription. So every month you get at least 10 exclusive doodles. Like you'll never find these doodles anywhere else. And they're from the girl, I think that does all the doodles like SPC does exclusive doodles with her and like all the shops that do the doodle stickers um what is her name like pink pencil or something along those lines and she's amazing and so playing with me stickers has like a theme and then she gives you at least 10 exclusive doodles and then foil on top like foiled doodles and those ones are really cute if you don't um know what I'm talking about you can watch my monthly plan with me's and I've been using those as, as kind of like my stickers for my monthly plan with me's um I guess I only have one up right now but I just had filmed the August one so that will be going up soon so you can see that there but they're the same doodles just the like outline version in foil and yeah I'm a big big fan these are all like the stickers I never knew I needed and I just love having them in my collection so these sandcastles are super cute and I love the square boxes. You can see through, like see the pattern boxes underneath. Um, I feel like I'm kind of at this weird point where planning for this summer, I've been like in and out of town all summer long and it's been a little bit more of a struggle to keep up with my planner and I yeah I thought I'd be having more planner time and that's okay that's just kind of like seasons of life right but I know being gone for like a couple weeks when I'm in Europe and then back to school is just crazy so I'm kind of like having planner anxiety right now. If anybody has, has like felt that before let me know. It's like you want to do all the things and make your planner perfect and want to have the time for it you just can't and at the same time my like brain is like you need a second planner for all your planner stickers and for all the kits you want to use so um but I know logistically if I can barely keep up with one then I for sure can't keep up with two but I think it's when all the like monthly planner lineup kits come out and you see people that have multiple planners and you're like oh they get to use so much art and they get to use more of their stickers and just kind of getting the feels so it's okay planner envy's real just know if you feel that I feel that too and um, if you feel stressed by your planner I feel that too and yeah just felt like I needed to rant about that um <laughs> but sorry that was like probably maybe too much but it's just you know what I'm feeling right now but I'm really excited to lay down the rest of my summer spreads all the fall art is starting to come out and I was like man I have so much room for fall I am pumped like I don't use Halloween kits so I'm like I have so much room it's gonna be great and then I just sat down with my Trello app which if you don't use Trello highly recommend it was a little bit of a learning curve so message me if you ever need help but now that I figured it out, it's been great, especially with being kind of like not with my planner um, and in and out of town. I can see my planner lineup and see as kids come out, being able to like place them in a digital lineup, if that makes sense. If you are curious about how I use that, I could also probably make a video on that. So let me know. I know a lot of people in the planner community use it, so it's not something super new, but... It was new-ish to me in the past. Let's see. I think I started using it last fall. So I'm coming up on one year of it. Um, but I highly recommend. And it kind of gives me like the spacing. So I know that I can now only buy like, I think, three fall art kits. That's all I have room for. And it's not even August. 
But regardless, that is a problem for future me. Let me know if you have ever been in this situation and what you've done to solve it or how you've gotten any sort of planner piece because I'm here to chat. Anyways, thank you so much for watching me lay down this base and let's skip to the end to see the final spread. All right, I'm back with the finished spread. I am absolutely obsessed with how this came out. You can see like the underlays, peeking through here i really really love this underlay highly recommend and crest presses format is just incredible especially with the square boxes like yeah love 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 um this week was kind of a bittersweet week like i talked about maybe in my voiceover i can't even remember um it was like our last weekend at our lake house and um it's like been part of our family for pretty much my whole life and so I have like lots of memories and so it was very sad um but I was able to use some extenders and I'm glad I was able to go one last time and Sadie loved swimming and all that fun stuff so yeah um definitely in my feelings a lot marking it in the sidebar um but overall it was a decent week I mean it's like a pretty week sticker wise so that's got to make up for something but it was fun to bring in some hollow for the summer and that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video bye everyone